Have you ever wondered how they do it? Behind every great piece of art is a story, a person with experience, skills, and prized creative secrets. We've convinced some of Malta's most prominent contemporary artists to give us an exclusive behind the scenes look at the making of their work and to open up their process as they bring new original art to life. The Open Art Studio series offers a rare glimpse into how art is made and is dedicated to art lovers, artists and aspiring artists alike. Kevin, thanks for joining us. You're Maltese born and bred, and your work's very much inspired by your environment. Tell us about your art. My work is a reflection of my surroundings. I paint what I feel, enjoy, and absorb from my surroundings, mostly from the urban environment. So I'm largely inspired by urban spaces, you know. So I interpret, I depict uh, streetscapes skylines, rooftops, aerial views, and these distinctly Maltese facades. In other words, I tried to, to, to capture, you know, the feel, you know, the character of these exterior spaces. So we're here to get a bit of a behind the scenes look at your process. What are you going to be showing us today? So my medium of choice is acrylic paint, and I'll be painting a view of Vittoriosa. It's Virgo in Maltese, and it's an old city um, on the island of Malta and uh, I'll be working in acrylic paint um, and at a later stage I'll be also applying glazes, you know, meaning I'll be thinning acrylic paint, you know, I'll be diluting acrylic paint with water. And what does this glazing technique achieve? What, what's the effect? My language is semi-abstract, so I work in a semi-abstract style and through glazing, I will be achieving a watercolor effect, which I really like, you know. I love this um, dynamic aspect of my work, the energy that I put into it, and I love this transparent effect that I'm able to achieve with my glazing. So tell us about the medium that you're going to be using. So I mainly work with acrylic paint. Um, I find it very versatile and one huge advantage for me is that it's a quick drying medium. I can either use them straight from the tube or I can also apply glazing techniques. I can achieve a glazing effect with acrylic paint by thinning the paint with water. And tell us about the materials that you have here today. So I've been using um, Amsterdam paint for so many years. They are remarkably um, durable, you know, I find them very bold and vibrant and the brand offers an extensive range of high quality acrylic colors. One of the things is that they adhere beautifully to a variety of surfaces, you know, so I've used Amsterdam paint um, on canvases, cardboard, plywood and other wooden panels. And they are very versatile, you know, for different effects, for multi-layering, um, glazing techniques, impasto. So talk us through what you're going to be demonstrating today. So for this view of Vittoriosa, first I carried out um, the underdrawing with charcoal mm -hmm. pencil. And then I went over it with acrylic paint using a dark blue color. So the composition layout is done. And I'm going to start off with filling up the, the surface, you know, I will be breaking it up into um, abstract forms. Later on, I will be applying glazes. Once they are dry, I will be, you know, um, continue to paint until I achieve the desired effect. Looking forward to seeing it. We'll let you get started. So now I'm going to apply the first layer of paint. Mainly I will be blocking the light and shade, you know, with, with light and mid-tones. At this initial stage, I mainly use paint straight from the tube, you know, occasionally mixed with white. And I believe it's you know, it's a balancing act, a balancing act with, um, between warm and cool colors.
So the next step would be the glazing effect. Um, I'm working flat on a table now um, instead of um, putting it on an easel because otherwise I would have a lot of dripping, you know. So I'm going to apply a series of glazes. I chose a dark blue. Um, glazing, it involves, you know, thinning paint with water and sort of I, I want to achieve this watercolor effect. So after it dries, once it's dry, um, then I continue to um, paint. Obviously I use um, thicker paints. Um, I would like to achieve a thicker consistency with my paint. And I continue to create um, abstract forms. And now it's time for the next layer of glazing. This time I didn't use blue, but um, it's a combination of burnt umber, burnt sienna and black. And I believe that this glazing effect gives the whole surface um, a warmer look. Once this glaze is dry, um, I will continue to enhance certain colors. I will make some colors more vibrant. Um, putting some details, trying to achieve a finer balance between the figurative and abstract forms. The series is brought to you by Allura. Allura works with leading local artists to showcase outstanding art and to show you what goes into making it. For original paintings by some of Malta's most sought after artists, visit the Allura Art Collection at www.alluraart.com.